So uh, let me finish uh, the company code data for the customer which I've already created uh, previously in the screen. Low. So I'm using a transaction code FD01 and the command V and pressing enter. Now you will see a screen now uh, asking for the customer number. So I'll enter the number, customer number is 104607. The company code is 1000. And you can press enter or you can click this button continue. In the company code data, there will be two tabs which are mandated to be filled. So one is account assignment tab. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. Account management tab and payment transactions. In the account management tab, uh, there are three mandatory fields to be entered. One is reconciliation account, short key, and cash management group. I'm selecting the reconciliation account. Here is one like 40 to destroy receivers because we will we'll receive the cash or amount from the customer. So I'm selecting tax free receivers for the domestic customer. So since it's a domestic customer, so I'm selecting one like 40. If you say foreign customer, it would be different. So I'll just think about it. Next thing is short key. Short key. If you want to sort out um, the customers, you can select posting details as a sort key here. And the next one is cash management group. As we are saying, you know, account assignment group for the customer in VD01. The financial financial user is also saying something named called cash management group. So it's an alternative name for the account assignment group. So select the cash management group, whether the domestic or foreign. I'm selecting here is E2. E2. Once you're done entering the three, then click on payment transactions. Here you will enter only one mandatory field that is terms of payment. So whatever you have selected in the V01 in the billing tab, you will enter the same here. So I've selected the payment payable immediately due debt. So I'm selecting that. Once you're done, so this please press enter and save then your customer will be created and you can see the output at the bottom of the screen so see the customer 100400 will be created for company code 1000 here the note point is the customer wouldn't be complete until you do both vd01 and fd01 if you forgot to do fd01 after vd01 you will end up with errors and it will not allow you to make the billing to that particular customer at the time of invoice that is we have zero one so you will learn about the vs01 later on okay thanks so much have fun